The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19147. We're going to take a look at the German DAX. And as you can see, we are in the process of making the ABCD rally. And we're going to see how it handles it here over the next couple of days. But if we take a look at the FTSE, there is trouble over in the Queen's house, folks. Just look at this British pound. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> look at this. Uh, footsie it's had a big break from 77 all the way down to 72 and we haven't bounced as of yet now you notice that gap up there it's around 7360 watch that very closely because if we don't fill that gap here the next couple of days uh, they're telling you that this is getting ready to head towards uh, the lower end of this part chart that will be below 7,000 you'll notice that we made the uh, triple bottom uh, butterfly pattern down there on uh, the end of May that was a beautiful ABCD then we had that really strong rally that went all the way up and now we've uh, come back down so what we're seeing now is some really great volatility which we are going to be seeing from now on now I would like to spend just a second here talking to you about the news this was an article that uh, was forwarded to me by my good friend Rich Anderson and all it is it shows you the picture of the uh, the uh, Headline from the magazine, which hardly anybody reads magazines anymore, I guess, from Business Week that was bought by Bloomberg. And it said, no escape from low rates. But folks, back in the old days when technical analysis really helped, uh, anytime you saw something on the cover of Newsweek uh, or Business Week or Time magazine, uh, it was pretty much the end of that. Uh, you can go back and check some of those yourself, but they're, they're really quite amazing. I remember the top of the NASDAQ back in 2000 that uh, we uh, you the one of the most amazing ones to me is when they was the uh, the bull was in the boat in a little rowboat with a fisherman and there was a bull and a bear and uh, the bull was taking the bear and wrapped him up in in uh, rope and also with weights getting and throwing him over the side of the boat that was the day of the high in the nasdaq as i recall there were three magazines showing pretty much the same thing in a different format just because they're in the news doesn't mean they're going to work all the time but that's the way it used to work back in the days when uh when I was just a little shaver, anyway, let's take a look at one of these charts here that does give you a little bit of food for thought. Let me get it up here, and you'll be able to see it here. We're going to do the 30-year bond on the daily chart here, folks. Let me get this up here. There we go. Now, you'll notice the uh, shooting star candle that we had yesterday. Uh, that is a very unusual pattern, folks. Uh, you don't see those very often, but they could mean something. Um they, uh, they're they're re they're really quite amazing. When you look at the volatility on this one, it, it's really uh, it's really quite intense, I would think. But whether that means anything or not, you know, I really don't know because everybody thinks that you know that the, the there's going to be zero interest rates. But folks, I'll tell you this: when we see negative interest rates here in the United States, that will be my last show for TFNN because uh, seven seven thousand years. Of history is going to go down the tube, so I will take my little trusty Burrow Walter, and we will ride off into the sunset as they hit negative interest rates. So, uh, <laughs> you know, folks, <laughs> I want to regress here just a little bit, okay? Uh, no, I better not. I'll be, in, I'll be in big trouble. Let's just move on to the chart, something that I understand. I'm not going to talk. Let's take a quick look here at the silver market. It had a monster move yesterday, up about 50 cents. 
You'll still be there, Marshall. Don't worry. We'll still have time for you and Lynn. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, here's the silver chart on the long-term weekly. Uh, you'll notice that we made a 78% retracement of the high in 2017. Uh, it was just a tad above the 3.8 retracement of the high in uh, 2016. And if you went and looked at the, where it was in 2011, it was really not much of a rally at all. But this is a big rally, big ABCD, explosive move. Everybody had to have it. And they're probably right. They probably do need it. But we'll see that. No, Jimmy, I'm not going to go for a boat ride because out here in the desert, we don't have any boats. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Anyway, let's move on to the next one here. We talked about the, the notes. Now, let's uh, the bonds. Let's take a look at the notes. And uh, you'll notice here that we're going to see this same type of pattern, the shooting star. Now, that, you know, we've had a heck of a run here, folks, for the last, well, especially here, the rates have dropped, you know, from uh, just a few weeks ago. Well, actually, two weeks ago, we were at 126. We went up to 131. That was a huge drop in rates. Uh, I believe the T note went from two. 0.1 to 1.6, which in six or seven days, I mean, that's just like the end of the world, but the world is still here. You'll notice the shooting star candle here in the Treasury notes. Now, the one thing that I did this morning, and believe it or not, folks, something very, very unusual happened yesterday. I slept nine and a half hours straight through. I cannot remember uh, the last time I slept more than eight hours, I, I didn't. I didn't take any medication other than a, a little antihistamine that I use. But I must have really been very tired. I've, I've been working here with John Jameson, and it's been very, very exciting. And uh, uh, the trouble is, we put many too too many hours in. But when I woke up this morning, which was a, just about 50, about 20 minutes ago, I uh, I was totally shocked. But let's take a look at this. Let's say that this shooting star pattern is correct. Go down a little bit lower, down to that 125 level, and you're going to see uh, the price of uh, 125.10. Now, if the market gets back there where that gap is, and we haven't had any gaps in a in a Treasury note uh, chart since Hector was a pup, and he's an old dog now, but at 125.10 is going to be the real key. Now, if that shooting star candle is correct, the market will close sharply lower tomorrow, today or tomorrow, and that would that would be the absolute shooting candle if, in fact, it does do that. It started the right way, but that doesn't mean it's going to finish that way, so keep an eye on that. There's a, a very interesting pattern there with that shooting star pattern. Remember, on the long-term charts, we still look a little bit negative, and uh, <laughs> you're right, Terry, the cure, the cure for insomnia is no sleep. Okay, let's move up here. I want to talk just a, a tad here about one market that we've really been watching closely and has made a major bottom here, folks. This is one we talked about yesterday. Take a look at this uh, crude oil chart. And what we've done here is we've given you a one-hour chart over the past month uh, from uh, July the 9th to where we are right now. Look at the big ABCD pattern, folks, from 61 down to 54, up to a 61% retracement. Gee, wow, it hit a 61% retracement. How could that possibly happen? And then down with an ABCD uh, stopping exactly. Look, look at that, folks. You see that D point where it says 1.618? That's 50-60. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger. Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're talking about this uh, crude oil chart, and I'd like to bring to your attention something that uh, we found here over this past uh, weeks that I've been working with, John, and that is there's a statistic in uh, – if that's a really big word for me this time of the morning, but there's a really strong statistic that pops up when markets make new highs and new lows, and then the trend changes. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing to watch it unfold. We've had that situation trigger in crude oil today. So that's telling us there's a very strong probability that this crude oil has made a major bottom. Now, if the market makes a new low here, this would certainly invalidate that. But Thus far, looking at some of these sample sizes there, uh, it's very, very high probability that we made a pretty significant low here uh, in the crude oil. But, you know, it's still early, but we'll have to take a look at it. That signal that we just chatted about, we have not seen that in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. But if the Treasury bond, which is the one that has 900,000 open interest as opposed to the 10-year note that has 4 million open interest – if that Treasury bond goes below uh, 69, we're trading at uh, 60 and change right now, 160 and change right now. If we go below 159 uh, in the next day or two, this will trigger a potential uh, major, major high in the uh, interest rates. And of course, we've had a heck of a run, so they're slightly overbought, as they say in the technical picture. So we'll we'll take a look at that. Now, regarding the gold market, we had a high of 1521. Uh, yesterday, uh, so far we backed off to 15.02. That was a, a bottom that uh, that popped in here. So if we get below 1500 in the uh, uh, gold, that'd be 1499. 
that would say that that is triggered and we're going to be looking at a little little larger correction that would be down twenty dollars you know from the high and you know the biggest corrections we've seen in gold over the past months have only been sixty dollars and the the harmonic number being 34 times 264, so that lines up with that. So if we see a correction of more than $64 a barrel, uh, uh, an ounce in gold, that is going to trigger uh, the, the situation where we're probably going to be looking at something a whole lot more. So those are just a, a few of the things that you want to uh, you know keep an eye on as you're as you're watching these things uh, you know unfold today. And Hold on one second here, folks. We have a question coming. By the way, uh, well, we've got a caller in from uh, Toronto. And, Michael, I'm just getting ready to bring your chart up. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, th thanks for taking my call there, Larry. Yes. Um, I I'm looking at, at the at the Canadian uh, oil patch right now. And I don't know, maybe am I, am I catching a falling knife? You know, we've got a federal election coming in October, changing government. Uh, you know, maybe the market's discounting all the negatives now, and by you know by yep. uh, October's election, maybe you know maybe just maybe there could be a bounce uh, pending in in the in the Canadian oil patch here. I was just wondering if we could look at some of the senior integrated uh, oil companies like uh, Suncor Energy. Yes, I'm. I posted Suncor Energy, and uh, you know, made a major bottom yesterday at 27.50, right at a beautiful Gartley pattern. It couldn't be any mm -hmm. better. It's uh, setting A, B, C, D spot on, and uh, mm -hmm. that does look like it's made a major bottom in here. Your risk here is, uh, you know, probably about a buck a, a buck a share. If it gets below 28 or 27, I would think you're probably wrong. But Michael, you know, the real key to this chart here goes back to May through September, and if you'll look at that, you'll notice. That we made a head and shoulders pattern with the right shoulder being much weaker. That was certainly tipping off that this market was going to go down, and it's you know it's gone down, rallied up to a 61% retracement. But this chart basically said you know this thing's made a major bottom here yesterday. I uh, as long as we don't go below 27, you know you could easily see this stock back to 37.50, which is nothing more than a 61% retracement of the move down from July you know, to August uh, or August of this year. So th this is a, this is a bullish chart. There's no question about it. Did you see it yesterday? Is that when you bought it? Yeah, I was, no, I haven't bought it. I was just watching, uh, and, uh, uh -huh. it, just watching here. I'm just watching and watching, but it was like a slow drip down, you know, like, uh -huh. like uh, you know, when, when's the bottom here? I mean, I thought yeah. maybe yeah. around Labor Day or something, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe Labor yeah. Day and then the election starts and then, yeah. The, the market discounts all the negatives and anticipates a, a conservative victory here. So, um, you, you think you think it's bottoming now? Oh, I, you know, Mike, I'm just a technician, buddy. All I can tell you is that uh, this stock made a major bottom there at 27.50. We're trading above a uh, little above 28 and change this morning, but below 27. You know, if you see a print of uh, you know 26.99. You're probably wrong, but right here, you know, it's just a risk control thing. But my goodness, it's a perfect pattern. The ABCD is absolutely perfect at 27.50. So, um, and we had a big move yesterday with a really strong outside day close. I mean, all that, that's all positive. Can, can you look at CNQ? Can you I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't have that one, Michael. I'm no. sorry. I, I noticed you sent it to me, but I didn't have that one in the. Uh, the uh, in the uh, database that I use, okay. so I was not able okay. to do 2750, that. 2750. 2750. Yep, that's exactly okay. the number. You bet. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for calling in, Mike. Mike from Toronto. Okay, folks, we're going to have Norm Winsky here in about two minutes, but let's keep uh, keep a close eye on this uh, U.S. dollar, too, folks, because uh, you know we backed off uh, substantially here in the U.S. dollar uh, to hold this level. Uh, up around that 98. If we can get the uh, U.S. dollar above 99, then there'll be a chance. Now, someone's asked a question, what if Do uh, Donald Trump uh, devalues the dollar? I don't think Donald Trump has the authority to, to devalue the uh, U.S. dollar because most of that is in the realm of the Federal Reserve. Now, they certainly could do that if they wanted to, but I don't believe the president has that type of, uh, even though he has a lot of power, I so, yeah, Nixon did it. What am I talking about? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, what Nixon did is a reset back in 1972 at the Bretton Woods Agreement. He basically said that uh, we're no longer going to back the dollar. 
with gold, and uh, that was the start of the big move up in gold from around 90 bucks an ounce all the way up to a high of $1,931 back in August of 2011. So uh, someone's asked me the question, do I think we'll ever exceed that uh, double top? Excuse me, that price of 1930 in the gold. Yes, I do believe we'll do that uh, because that low that we had at $1,000 an ounce was very, very important. We came off of it very quickly, and that's what made it uh, pretty good. So keep a close eye on that. Um, the, one other question someone asked over the night will, What will this uh, trade war look like? It look, it'll look like what's going on right now. Just more volatility. That's that's what you're basically looking at. When you see that volatility, folks, that means uh, there's great opportunities there because pattern recognition swing trading really relies heavily on swing, uh, these types of volatile moments, and we're going to see a lot of them here in these next few weeks and months. So pay very, very close attention to that. So very, very important. We're going to have Norm Winsky on in just about four or five minutes. He's always quite entertaining, has some really great timing things. We can ask Ask him questions if you want. So if you have any questions for Norm, give us a call, 927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends out of Florida on the line. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. Good morning, and you have the mic, my friend. Go right ahead. Okay, hopefully my notes are on the screen there. I was last on your show on July 12th, so I'm going to review all the important things that have happened since then and show you what happened. So yeah, I'm now going to position the, my notes, my page. I'm going to scroll down just a line or two, so uh, if you can, if folks can take a screenshot of that, it'll be a big help to you because it shows what the, this is all based on. And I give it away my secrets here of why, you know, I think that, uh, for example, back on the night of the 12th, I would I thought the cattle would, was due for a change of trend and that sort of thing. So giving away all the secrets here, I must be crazy, but that's what I'm doing, okay? All right, moving on ahead here now. Oh, we have uh, the 12th. We had, uh, let's see, you had Jupiter lining up with Uranus. And Jupiter's in Sag. And just for example, Uranus in Taurus, the bull. You might think that has something to do with cattle, for example. See that? And so uh, at the same time, and we have a full moon, a uh, lunar eclipse on the night of the 16th, for example. And we had uh, Jupiter lining up with Saturn on the night of the 19th. And later on, we had uh, uh, Jupiter lining up with uh, Pluto in Capricorn and so forth. And there, you see, it tells you what markets go with these different events. Uh, here's uh, uh, the, the probably the biggest window of all, other than the full moon eclipse, was on the night of the 31st when we had not just a new moon, we had also, also had Mercury turn, turning direct in Cancer. And you know, Larry, when the moon lines up, a new moon, full moon lines up with a planet going direct or retrograde, that's very powerful. And you might remember, I'll throw out a couple of dates. Mm -hmm. you, you and I, uh, I was on your show for the May 18th, 19th top in 2015. That turned out to be the high of the year. Not saying this is the high, that was the, not, or, you know, it's going to be a major change of trend. Uh, that was a, uh, that was a new moon. Now, this is a, oh, this is a new moon, but Mercury was turning retrograde then, so it's a cousin. It's not exactly the same. Uh, back on October the 11th, 2007, the high day in 2007 before the big meltdown, we had again a new moon, and Mercury was turning retrograde within one day. So there you go. So you want to watch these big cycle convergences. They're extra powerful. So let's go look at our charts here. There's, there's your cattle. And there's the date there. I'm going to mark green arrows and red arrows. If I get a winner, I'm going to mark it with a green arrow. And if it's a miss, i got to mark it with a red arrow. There's your cattle there on the screen now. You see a green arrow. I missed the top by just a fraction of, I guess you call these handle, a fraction of a handle there. And and just past the high there. It's got a nice short-term top there. And it went down. So you had a chance to make some money. Here's Coco. I had a nice low there, and then it rallied up, and then I had a couple of misses uh, later in the month, so those didn't work. And here's your coffee. And we have a top here on the uh, is that the uh, on the 16th. Wait, I'm going to make this bigger. I got a little eye problem. Else. I got to blow everything up. Uh, 15th, and uh, there, there you go. And that was a good one there. And then we had we hit three up to the positive. And then I had a couple of misses later in the month. Here's copper. No, uh, copper had one date, and that didn't work. That was on the uh, the 13th. And here's your corn. Of course, we always look at the moon and mercury for the for the grains. That's a big deal. For the the top two things for short term timing for the grains are the moon and mercury. Uh, didn't work that great. Oh, going kind of sideways there on the earlier one, but that around the uh, full moon. Uh, and that's very unusual because the uh, greens usually uh, dance nicely with the moon. But later on, we had our double whammy there with the night of the 31st with the uh, new moon and Mercury direct. Ooh, we got some noise going there. And is that is that a problem there, Larry? No, everything's good. Everything's good okay. from my end. I don't see any problem. All right, so there was some noise. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so the night of the 31st, and there you go. You made the, the low of the month there right on the August 1st. You see that? All right, here's your cotton. We had a nice date here where well, it had a little bit of a, I guess you call that a little bit of a, a short-term top there, and then it went down. Not a lot of money, but there was a chance to, if you sold that little uh, opening there 
Oh, right about there or so. You had it. Oh, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to say that was a one day blow. That's what that was. You bought there on the opening and then you had a chance to make some money for about a day. You popped up about a handle, you know. All right, here's your gold. Gold is going uh, sideways and had a little pull back there right on the full moon and then it popped up and then we went sideways again. And then we had a really not good one here on August 1, right uh, following the uh, night of the uh, uh, the previous eve night, you had that was your uh, new moon and your uh, Mercury turning direct. So there you go. And that's when I accelerated to the upside. Here's your hogs. Let's see, the hogs did not cooperate when I had what I had for the around the 14th there, but they did. We did get a nice one here right near the top. On the uh, later on on the t night of the 24th, uh, the uh, night of the 29th though, it was uh, not effective. All right, we're up to silver now. There's silver on the full moon, and it silver just kept going, so that would have been a loser. But you did have the uh, August one pullback there in the silver. That was a very nice buy there on the new moon and Mercury turning direct in Cancer. There, that was like a double or triple whammy for silver because you had the moon, that's silver, and you had it in cancer. That's the ruling sign. Moon rules cancer. See, so that was like a triple whammy there with Mercury turning direct in cancer. Here's your beans. Had a little pullback low here, and then it popped up. So that worked out. And then the uh, beans, uh, let's see. Oh, there's your uh, pointing to August 1. You made a little bit of a short-term low there. And you rally, had a little bit of a rally there after August 1. Here's your S&P. I did very well in the S&P. We had a top there on the, uh, I think it was the 13th or so. Oh, wait, the 12th was a Friday. Had to be the Friday, Monday the, uh, where's my calendar? Monday the 15th, I guess. And then we, we had two days where it was topping there. And we had a third day. That breaks my rules there because it didn't make, it's not within one day of a high. And so we had to make put a red mark there, red arrow. And then we did make a nice low there. And then we rallied up for a nice top on the 25th. And then we kind of went in a topping area there. And there again, there's that new moon with Mercury turning to retrograde. And that was the last hurrah before had a little bit of a rally there that during that day. And that was the last hurrah before off the cliff it went. Okay, here's your T-bonds. And you can see here the T-bonds did very nicely. I've had a pullback low there right on the uh, 15th, rallied up to the 16th. I guess that was the full moon. And then pulled back into the, I had a date for the night of the 24th. And then we had a breakout acceleration on my next date there, which was the uh, uh, August, you know, July 31 night, or August 1. Back to page. Okay. We have to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions daily, S&P 500, bull and bear, leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. You want to continue on, Norm? Yes, sir. Thank you. I just got one or two more charts to look at. Here's your U.S. dollar index. Had a nice top there, short-term top for a couple days, um, back on the full moon in, in in July. And then we had a pullback, and then we started a nice rally right into the new moon there. And we're returning retrograde, which was the night of the 31st. And the next day, it topped. And that's been the highest high now for, I don't know, a couple of months. You tell me, Larry, how far back you'd have to go. But that was a significant top there. And now we had a nice pullback and so forth. So the currencies danced to the moon, you know. All right, let's go. We got, uh, here's wheat. We got to cover wheat. There, the wheat uh, had a little bit of a pop up there. Very slight, but there's still a pop up there. On the, uh, that date there I had for the, that's not the, uh, let me see, got to blow that up a little bit so I can see what. The, oh, that is the full moon. Okay. All right, there we go. There's the uh, night of the 16th. That's the full moon. Then we came right down to August 1 was the low on August 1. That was the, uh, uh, you know, new moon and Mercury turning retrograde. Here's what's coming up. Let's see. Let me fix this so you can see it better. All right. Here's what's coming up right now. Last night we had, you know, here's the deal. All these, uh, uh, what I'm doing, this solar system, I, I have accessed the largest computer anybody has. It's called their solar system. Why not you let the planets tell you what to do rather than doing all these calculations stuff everybody's doing? I just let the let the solar. Oh, I forgot to mention on these reviews here, all these arrows. Uh, we had 39 arrows if you went and counted them, and 29 were green and 10 are red. That means I batted about 74 percent, 74.36 percent. So the point now is, why not let the planets help you trade? That's you know why do all that work? Everybody's doing, you know, I, I, I'm kind of lazy. I'd rather have the solar system tell me what to do. So anytime a planet gets to an extreme in its cycle or an inflection point, that's a potential. When the planets change trend, the markets tend to change trend. So last night we had Venus perihelion. That's from the Greek. Para is close. Helion is from Greek. Helios for sun. That means in Venus is 225 day cycle around the sun, which, by the way, Larry, you know, is 6 one seven of the earth that's pretty close to a number that we all love <laughs> and uh, so there we go we got venus and we look at our venus markets venus rules taurus the bull 
So you might think that it has something to do with cattle. So if the, any of these markets are at an extreme with the, when the plants are at their uh, si at a cycle point uh, corresponding to uh, that market, you want to take a look at it for a possible trade. So here you go. You got cattle. As soon as I go, I lost my cursor. There we go. Cattle, copper, corn, cotton, gold, OJ. Uh, got these because they're uh, you know sun related, and Venus is doing something with the sun. Stock, sugar, and wheat. So that's what you want to be looking at right now. If any of those markets are at some kind of extreme, there's a good chance they're going to reverse. Okay, then then we got a huge cluster. Um, I don't use that word lightly, huge. This weekend, we have, there we go, Mercury at an extreme in its cycle. Greatest elongation. That has to do with the relationship between the Earth, the Sun, and Mercury. And that's Mercury, again, is a grain. So you got your corn, oats, soybeans. Stocks and wheat, and then we have, the, over the weekend, we have heliocentric Mars entering Virgo, and that Virgo is soybeans, and there you go. There's another emphasis on a, a grain, and there you go. And so here's the big one, though. Here's the big, the big kahuna. We got a, a two-planet combination here with Jupiter turning direct. That's the biggest planet in the solar system. And, and, uh, and then the Uranus. In, uh, in Taurus, going to turn retrograde all on early Sunday morning. I think it's happening within about 12 hours of each other. And so I think that could be huge. So if you get some extreme in these markets, the bigger it's a Newton's law. For every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. So if you get some market at some big extreme, look for a big reversal over the weekend, into Mon possibly into Monday. You know, That's it. So the only market I didn't cover that's mentioned in the future Looking ahead here, oh, by the way, I should mention, I didn't put it on here, but I, and I remembered it after I put these notes together. Uh, we also have a full moon coming up on the early hours of the 15th next week. And so keep that in mind, of course, the full moon. We always round up the usual suspects, which are precious metals, grains, and financials. Right. Okay. There you go. So here's sugar. I didn't look at sugar yet. But we got sugar for right now because Venus has a Venus market. And so if I have a possible, if sugar were to pull, have maybe a gap to be nice if I had a gap down here on the opening and set up, get down to that green line there, maybe in the low 11s, uh, that might be a possible buy for sugar. All right. So uh, any questions from the Tiger Den there? Whatever. Yes, uh, we, we have one question for one of our listeners is that many times when you've been on, you've talked about the Bradley model and the fact that you use the retrograde motion of the planets to uh, help you. Uh, they, the question is, what are you seeing now in the Bradley model uh, for stocks over the next uh, four to six weeks, if anything? I don't, I don't do four to six weeks. I do like, uh, you know, uh, I plot out the Bradley model, and then if we have things like Saturn going but not Saturn. Where, where is it? Uh, Jupiter going direct and Uranus going retrograde this weekend. That's a possible. That's where your Bradley model might invert. So if you let's say uh, we'll create a hypothetical model here. You add up your numbers. Your Bradley model is going straight down all month and for four at 45 degree angle. But in the middle of the month here, like on the weekend of the night, you got these two big station points. That's what they were called when they stopped. And that's a due to apparent motion from Earth there. And that they stop their motion and then reverse, that's where you're likely to get your Bradley model to flip upside down and drive you crazy. And so what you want to do is if have a, a second model where the line all of a sudden stops going down and all that negative energy becomes positive energy. It actually has the potential to not only change the trend for the markets, but invert and change the polarity of the energy. Okay. Yep, that exactly. makes a good sense. Thank you. So that's what we got this weekend. It's it's big. It's it's big. Okay. So anything else? Um, yes. There's one other question. That is, you mentioned the cycle between uh, the point six one eight of the year on Venus. That's the, the cycle between Venus and the Earth. Is that the one you were referring to? That's correct. Venus takes 225 days to go around the sun. You might have heard the Earth takes 365 and a quarter days. We call that a year. <laughs> and okay. so if you divide one by the other to divide the Venus number by the Earth number, I think you'll get about 0. 0.617. 
Okay. 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 The question we have is from Mr. Z, and he's, uh, what would the, well, how would you trade the equities over the weekend uh, this week? He would like to know what what you. Well, like like all these markets, if it gets to some extreme, I'd be looking for some kind of reversal. So we don't know yet. This is only Thursday. Got to see how it acts today and tomorrow. If we get a big rally into the weekend, then I'd be looking for a top. If we get some big decline into the weekend, I'd be looking for a low. And what would you give as the probability of the, the trade working? Uh, most of my stuff works around 70%. Okay, that's fair enough. That's good. And so if you're right this time, we'll have you on again as a guest. If, if not, I want to wish you the best of luck. Hey, Norm, stay with us and tell us more about your service when we get back, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, with Norm Winsky. Norm, uh, if we have a question about your uh, free uh, training for astrology, and then would you uh, tell the folks how they can reach you? Yes, sir. I'm going to scroll now to the last page where you get to learn about all the free stuff. And I'm teaching people to day trade in about 30 minutes. I give free coaching, which, you know, if you went on the Internet there and found a coach, they charge you lots of money. I'm doing it for free. And I have people that are 
you know, doing this and very successful within a few days of practicing. And we love volatility. My system, when we got these the volatile markets here now, we're doing fantastic. I'm not going to give any numbers here on the air. If you call me up, I'll give you the, I'll let you know what's going on. We had a, grim, a tremendous example last Thursday. Trump, you might remember on the Twitter there, Trump mentioned, uh, here's my contact info on the screen there. Trump mentioned the word uh, tariff. And the market fell out of bed. You remember that one, Larry, last Thursday? Yes. And then, yes, and then sure we went do, down yeah. and we had some aspects, plants doing stuff. And I think there was two, uh, 242 and a 244. And guess what? There was a beautiful low there, right at 243. I had one person buy a tick off the bottom. And then it was a beautiful on my system. It, it probably went higher, but based on my parameters, you, you did it. It went up 14 handles without a, a hiccup or a sneeze. <laughs> you know, okay. yeah. that, there you go. So that was that was pretty. It, it took about 15, 20 minutes to to make 14 handles. You know, so you know, we ended up with a tremendous day that day. I think we're up about 41 handles or more for the day trading one contract. You know, had okay. another tr tremendous day yesterday. All right, so we love the volatility. Get a hold of me right away while the markets are still volatile, and I'll show you that this is tremendous stuff. And the, the bottom line is, I don't know anything other than how to read these planets, and I let the planets tell me what to do. And we have some money management tools to keep us uh, from uh, keep the losses small and let the profits run. That's it. Here, get a hold of me. I'll teach you how to day trade for free. I got a more advanced class, which uh, you can qualify to get that for free, too. And I got about 50 years' of experience. I'm a former Chicago floor trader. There we go. I'm Naples, Florida. There's my phone on the screen there and my email and my Skype. Call me right away. Thank you, Norm. Have a good day, folks. Thanks a lot.